Hello, my name is Stephen Ganey. I'm the proud superintendent of the Randolph County School System. I come to you today, March 25th, with some updates regarding our school system's actions to address the coronavirus crisis. In one of my videos last week, I mentioned our early actions to, to open feeding sites at four elementary schools, the Southmont Elementary School, Ramsdale Elementary School, Randleman Elementary School, and Trinity Elementary School. Those feeding sites were opened on March 17th. On March 23, this past Monday, we opened five more feeding sites. One of those sites was at Archdale Elementary School. Also a site was Liberty Elementary School, Franklinville Elementary School, Seagrove Elementary School, and Tabernacle Elementary School. I'm very proud to tell you that on the 17th of March, the first day that we provided any lunch meals and breakfast meals, we served a total of 467 lunch and breakfast meals. Today, on March 25th, that number has risen to 3,564 lunch and breakfast meals. I want to thank Kelly Green, the Director of our School Nutrition Department, for her leadership of this great work and all of her staff members. It has just been a tremendous effort by the School Nutrition Department, as well as Transportation Park Department, who has been involved in delivering meals, uh, lunch meals, to 17 key bus stops throughout the school system. In addition to the provision of food for individuals in our community, we've also worked very hard to keep academics alive in our school system. During the first few days of the closure of school, staff members at school level and central service level worked very hard to prepare instructional packets for our students. And then on March 19, the students came to campus with their parents between 7.30 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. to pick up instructional packets from their teachers. This was an exciting day. Yes, we miss our children. We, we love to watch the interaction of the children with, with each other and with the staff members in schools every day. But without having the children there, we needed to do something to keep academics alive. And so the children came on March 19th and they picked up their instructional packets and took them home with them. But equally excited was to see the interaction between staff members and students on that day. It was very clear to people who observed these different uh, distribution events that the students really missed their teachers and our teachers and our principals and other school staff members really miss the students. So uh, I know May 15 is a long way away or May 18 which is our scheduled first day back uh, and it will be an exciting day in the Randolph County school system. In addition to the distribution of the instructional packets on March 19th, another action taken by our school system to keep, keep academics alive during this time of school closure was our distribution of technology. So yesterday on March 24th, we had a technology distribution day at every school site. From 7.30 to 11.30 or 2.30 to 6.30, parents were welcome to campus and with their children to pick up Chromebooks if they needed them at home. We used the data that we, were, we obtained from our technology at home access survey the previous week to determine who needed Chromebooks and how many we need to be prepared to distribute on that day. So again, I want to say a big thank you to our staff members at the school level, central service level for making the technology distribution day a reality. At this time, I want to address a couple of things about our school calendar as we move through the remaining time of the school closure and hopefully the end of the school year with the hopes that the children do come back on May 18th. One, one item on the calendar that I want to point out is spring break. Yes, the students are out because of the school closure, but spring break will remain as scheduled. Therefore, our teachers will go on spring break from the end of the day on April 9th until the early morning of April 20th. Just want to make sure parents know that, that spring break, while the students are already out of school because of school closure, we will shut the school system down uh, on, at the end of the day on April 9th and reopen at the, in the morning of April 20th. A couple other things about the calendar I want to make you aware of is that originally the third quarter was scheduled to end on March 27th. However, because of the last two weeks of school closure, we have now moved the third quarter end date up to March 13th. As a result, teachers will finalize grades for the third quarter based on the work students have completed through March 13th when we were still having regular school days. Another, another part of that change is now the first day of the fourth quarter is now March 16th. One other change is originally we had scheduled to send third quarter report cards home on April 3rd. We have moved that back to April 7th to align it with the distribution of the second round of instructional packets. Your child's third uh, quarter report card will now be in the instructional packet that, get, that will be distributed to the school sites on April 7th. In closing, I want to thank our students, staff members, parents, and community members for your continued support of our school system during this time of school closure. We miss our students and want them back on campus as soon as possible. 
You know, when you start watching things such as March 19th, when the instructional packets were distributed to the students, and also on March 24th yesterday, when the technology was distributed, it just reinforces the great things going on on campuses throughout our school system. Watching the students interact with the teachers and other staff members as they came to campus and watching the smiles go both ways was very exciting. It just, again, it reinforces the belief of the great things going on every day in our schools. I surely hope we can get back in school on May 18th, provided the conditions are safe for the students to return. And until someone tells me differently, we may have some more other activities that we can do at the end of the year, which we typically have. But until someone tells me differently, I'm going to be planning on sitting at some high school graduations on June 9th, watching the great senior class of the Randolph County School System leave our school system in style.